In part 1 of this tutorial, you'll learn how to generate a mesh on a geometry with repetitive features. You'll defeature the model to generate a coarse hex mesh by preparing a sector of one internal fin of the rotor and decompose it for hex meshing. After importing the brake rotor into the mechanical model, click to edit geometry in space claim. Select transparent on the model. Select faces on two fins and insert a plane between them for a cut-through section view of the model. After selecting section mode to view the cut-through section, click a fillet and then click the hotkey F for fill to remove it. Remove features smaller than the mesh size to simplify the meshing constraints. You'll remove more fillets in a future step. They can be removed in 2D and 3D modes. The hub has a different pattern than the fin, so you can split the model. Using the pull tool, select the hub and click Split Body. Uncheck to hide the hub. In this model, there are 39 fins, represented by 3.230769 degrees, where the decimal place repeats. This is a difficult angle to enter into the software. Since the fins are identical and you want to hex mesh the model, it's easier to slice out one fin, determine the best way to mesh it, and then use instancing to get the same mesh for repetitive fins. Using the first plane as a reference, select faces on an adjacent fin and insert a second plane. The distance between the two planes is 170.8 degrees or 9.2 degrees depending on how the planes were created, but you can get a more accurate measurement. Click File and choose Space Claim Options. In units, change the angular precision to three decimal places. The new updated angle is 170.769 degrees, or 9.231 degrees, which is more accurate. To slice out one fin, click Split Body, choose the target body to split, click the cutter, and then click the body to remove. Repeat these steps to remove the other section so the sector model is now one of the 39 fins. Get the hex mesh for one sector before setting the pattern for an instanced mesh of the model. To make it easier, hide the two planes you created. As you did earlier, remove features smaller than the mesh size. The fillets where the fins connect to the top and bottom plates will impact the mesh quality. Since you're creating a coarse hex mesh, it's better to remove them. Click the top face and split body to make a coarse hex mesh easier. After defeaturing, consider the sweep paths for the hex mesh. The hex mesh in the rotor section will sweep vertically, while the sweep mesh in the region that connects the rotor and hub will sweep radially. You want to slice that region from the rotor. The rotor region fins are tapered, and the taper angle could affect the imprinting of the hex mesh onto the top and bottom plates of the rotor. Using Pull, click the edge to pull. Select Pull Direction, and choose a face to set the pull direction appropriately. Make sure to set Cut in the Pull options, and then pull the edge up through the face. Repeat these steps for the top and bottom faces. Move the rotor sector bodies into one component, leave the hub in its own part, as it doesn't need patterned. Check the hub to make it visible. You want a conformal mesh between the hub and rotor, so imprint both sections to create duplicate faces. In the Workbench tab, click on Share to share topology. Click Prepare, select Imprint, and then Complete. Later, you will put a map face and hard edge sizings on the duplicate faces to ensure the mesher will get duplicate nodes, which can be merged later. This completes part one of this tutorial. In part two, you'll mesh the model of the hub and single sector to ensure the mesh looks appropriate and make adjustments before meshing the full model.